when the invasion happened, I started paying attention to the Zelensky regime for the first time. And I started doing some digging on the Zelensky regime. And I realized that Zelensky himself is an actor and he is literally a puppet. He was put into position by uh, uh, a Ukrainian Israeli Cypriot oligarch by the name of Igor Kolomoisky, who is a nasty character. Uh, this, this oligarch has basically created a television program called Servant of the People and cast Zelensky as the lead and artificially inflated this television program by bribing people and getting a lot of publicity for the show, even though the show in and of itself is fairly mediocre. But it got a lot of people's attention and Zelensky as a puppet was positioned by Kolomoisky and his various associates in the entertainment industry because Kolomoisky was the owner or, or principal owner of One Plus One Media, which is the largest media company in Ukraine. And they positioned Zelensky uh, to be this uh, figure because in the television show, the, the, the Zelensky president of the TV show wants to join the EU and wants to join NATO and sells the dream that Ukraine will be wonderful and will end the corruption in Ukraine if this happens. And so uh, Zelensky is uh, um, in the TV show. He was like the ideal candidate. And so this was transitioned into reality. They even made a political party called Serpent of the People to support Zelensky's candidacy. And, you know, he won the election uh, by, by basically lying to the people and telling them that he would get them to the EU, he would solve the corruption problems, which are very serious in Ukraine, uh, that, uh, you know, he, he sold them a bit, bill of goods that he could not possibly deliver. And um, people, unfortunately, bought this story and they elected him. And quite quickly, he started acting despotically. He, um, one of the measures that he did was that he banned um, channels, television channels that were critical of him or of his uh, regime. He banned four of them, as a matter of fact, uh, what, where before he had said that the Russian language should be allowed and it was wrong to prohibit the Russian language. Once he became president, he outlawed the Russian language. Um, and it was very clear that Kolomoisky, the, the oligarch, he was the man, along with other oligarchs, who had funded the Azov Battalion and other far-right neo-Nazi movements in Ukraine that had been instrumental in the 2014 Maidan coup. Uh, 